Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I have something really exciting for you today and I'm so excited about it. So I have this email, it's called samlooklol at gmail.com. And what that email is, is a bunch of you guys just submit stuff to that email, whether you find it cringe or just stupid or funny, whatever it is. But a lot of the stuff that's sent to me is really funny and I love it and I want to share it with you guys. So I figured that I would make a video where we would take all of this stuff to react to and put it into one. So it could be, it's like a goodie bag, a goodie bag of cringe so there is a song an eight minute song called boys will be girls and it's about trans people it's a diss on trans people bear with me here notice how it's titled boys will be girls because they always love to make fun of trans women and not trans men i think you guys need to start taking shots at trans men a little more often you're a little bit too much on the trans women you can give me some attention please please i want it a man cannot become a woman any more than a man can become a bat yet these crackpots will stop at nothing so of course i'm gonna catch a ton of flack look <laughs> I fucking can't even do that shit. Dude, we're... <laughs> what the hell? Dude, you have two first names as your name. You can't talk shit. Francis Aaron. What's your full name? Francis Aaron John? Or something? Even if a man self-identifies as a bat, adapts his swagger and acts oddly. Even if he's utterly convinced he's a bat and believes he's a bat trapped in a man's body. So the difference between, like, thinking that you're a bat and thinking that you're a man or a woman is... It's not a species thing. It's just a gender thing. And gender is a social construct. And I don't know how many times we have to say this. Like it was created. It was created within society. What men do and what men are was created in society and how they're masculine. Same with women. Everything that women like. Women love pink. Women love to do this. Women love to do that. It's a societal thing. It's not an instinctual thing. To the extent that he fits artificial web wings on his back and lives a nocturnal lifestyle in a cave hanging from the ceiling. Even if he sleeps perched upside down, even if he somehow installs a nifty interface to navigate the world via echolocation. Feeds on a diet of fruit and insects and blood on special occasions. In order for all the world to recognize him as a bat, he gives his fake wings a flap. Sorry to break it to you, but still, this does not make him a bat. To think that there are actually people out there who sit down and listen to this song and like, vibe to it and they're like yeah that's right you tell those transgenders and fuck them and i hate him so much so i'm gonna listen to this song because a bat is a bat and that is a fact question can a bat be a bat whilst at the same time not be a bat no he's either a bat or he's not a bat and he can't transform at the drop of a hat and if i voice a doubt nor is it batophobic to point this out i'm somewhat perplexed that i even have to say this we're only a minute into the song this song is worthy of a full reaction though nevertheless it's an act listen that man is not a bat he is a man dressed as a bat likewise man cannot magically become woman even if he seeks a life beyond one cannot negate biology with a wave of the magic the assignment one the transgender woman has no womb no ovaries xy chromosomes encode the genes she does not have periods regularly plus will never experience pregnancy has no acquaintance with menstruation it's just like such a weird fucking cycle of the same argument like why also why do you care you also refer to her as she so i mean you are recognizing her as a woman so why did you even write this song Fired a facelift to make him look like her. We'll never have to endure childbirth and has only a surgically carved makeshift vagina. Biologically, it's a falsehood. Does it seems to me they're bluffing? All right, to all the cis women out there watching right now, do you give a fuck? If a woman is trans, do you care? Most of the time, people just don't give a fuck. Like, oh, you just, you had surgery and you got a brand new vagina? That's really awesome. Um, how's your day going? Like, people really, truly don't give a fuck. And if you do, I don't know, man. You have to find a new hobby. Psychologically, a man does not know what it means to be a woman. Perhaps I misunderstood. You should have done this from the other point of view because you don't know what it means to be a woman. You should have hated, you should have bashed on trans men instead and told me about how I don't understand what it's like to be a man because I, I didn't grow up fucking, I don't, I don't even know. I did everything that a, a boy would do growing up. So what do you have on me, man? Hmm? Perhaps I misunderstood. Nonetheless, I reckon this claptrap hasn't done him good. The man who self-identifies as a woman has but a man's grasp upon womanhood. That is to say, next to nothing. And yet he's sworn he's not gay. Perhaps it's an extravagant act of mimicry. Actually, I think it's really interesting, this point that I just thought of. So this is talking about trans women, right? They're saying you're not a real woman because you don't experience pregnancy and menstruation and stuff. So how about you say the same points, but to me as a man? So what makes me not a man? Like... I can stand and pee. 
That's the only thing I can think of. So do it the other way around. I want to see what you come up with because you guys love to say all this stuff about trans women. An extreme form of cosplay With that being said If a man wishes to live his life Imitating a woman or a bat If a man's in a muddle And he's struggling his act Finds himself puzzled And befuddled and detached If a man's having trouble And he's struggling with that when it's all said This guy thinks he's Tom McDonald We're gonna end this right now Well, maybe another day We'll review this entire song But two minutes is the max That we can do today So this says These two beta male traits Lower women's attraction That will make you a beta If you continue to do it Is watching spectator sports Okay? I need you to think about this now this one alone i know that this triggers people like this gets you mad probably you probably even get offended at me even saying it and that's how laughable it is because you're such a diehard red Sox fan or a diehard oakland raiders fan and that is the exact reason that you're emotionally invested in a television screen oh my god bro nah this is one of these guys who are like this guy thinks that he has no emotions this guy thinks that he's like the craziest like sociopath that there is and like you're so emotionally invested in a sport ha i don't even cry at, at at funerals dude why do you give a fuck if someone's emotionally invested in a sport if they're rooting for their city and they love to watch sports why the fuck do you care <laughs> and you're not actually emotionally invested in chasing excellence to the level that you need to number two okay so if you're emotionally invested in sports or just genuinely like watching them you have no other aspects of life and you don't try hard enough in life what the fuck are you talking about is playing video games if you're sitting there playing video games and you're worried about how fast you can move your thumbs and how quickly you can level up on the little game and all this BS. You gotta understand, these games were made to hook your brain by alphas far smarter than you to make your, to reap the rewards of getting rich off of you. He's so mad that he can't play, he can't fucking play a game of COD without getting shot in the first fucking 30 seconds. Dude, you're just mad because you can't make six figures playing with your thumbs and other people can on YouTube. Have you seen the gaming community? These people make insane amounts of money and they're crazy good at these games. I just don't see how somebody would upload this and think that it's a good thing to upload. Am I seeing this wrong or what's up? I mean, I can't be seeing this wrong. I wear Warby Parker glasses, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. Thank you, Warby Parker. If you guys are out there and you can't see or the sun is too bright in your eyes, Warby Parker is the place to go. Warby Parker was founded with a rebellious spirit and a lofty goal to create boutique quality eyewear at a revolutionary price point. Offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams, Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores. They have glasses starting at $95, including prescription lenses. So I took their home trying quiz. I wanna show you guys. So basically all you have to do, super easy. You say the type of glasses that you like, depending on the size, the color, and the shape, etc. Then you get the glasses shipped to you. I got these five pairs of glasses that I'm gonna show you guys each of them on. I'll tell you my favorites, but but uh, I wanted to let you know that Warby Parker also offers their own daily contact lenses. Scout by Warby Parker. Scout is a comfortable, breathable, and affordable daily contact lens. A 90-day pack is only $55. Their sunglasses also start at $95 and are available with prescription. And just like eyeglasses, their sunglasses are available through the Home Try-On program, which is what I got. Warby Parker sunglasses feature premium polarized lenses that are scratch resistant and provide 100% UV protection. They also have blue light filtering lenses, which are now available. So if you guys are looking for new glasses, you want to check them out, you can go to this link right here, which is warbyparker.com slash samcollins. I'm also going to put it in the description and you can try on five pairs of glasses for free. You can also use that link to find a store located near you if you prefer to look in person. That might be a little bit easier for some of you. So you can go to this link right here. Again, that is warbyparker.com slash samcollins. Check out their stuff and let me know if you get some. So this is another short that was sent to me and it's called Target Partners with LGBTQ Plus Brands to Sell Chest Binders and Packing Underwear. You're gonna think twice before going into Target after you hear this because Target is now partnered with an LGBTQ plus brand called Tomboy X. No, I'm not, because I love that store. I can go in there and spend $1 million on nothing. X that is going to launch undergarments like chest binders and packing underwear for trans adults and youth. So now if you're a teen girl who wants to compress your boobs or pack your underwear, you can go to Target and buy these products. Now, of course, Target is a private company. They can do what they want, but so can you. And if you do not support this ideology, particularly as it pertains to young people, you should not shop there. And if you don't think this is affecting young people and just adults are gonna go and buy this stuff, let's look at a couple tweets about this. This one has 42,000 likes. Teens can access them privately without worrying about mail interception. Should have happened ages ago. And another one with 3,000 likes. Oh, maybe teens who still shop with mom will be able to grab this and tell mom it's sports bra. That could improve accessibility for a lot of non-binary kids. We all knew Target was woke, but for me, this is too far. You're done. 
You people are so obsessed with trans people and I will never understand. It would have been really useful for me to have those things at the store when I was younger. So I was able to have easier access to binders, try them on, whatever it is that I needed to do. And it would have made me feel better. And honestly, I would have transitioned even earlier. And I still feel the same at 26. So uh, yeah, access to those types of things definitely do matter. And we do know when we are younger. All right, so this next video was sent to me. It's just by this YouTuber and it was from a month ago and it's titled Coming Out. So it's a coming out video and we'll see how this goes. I think this is kind of a perfect time for me to do this in the sense of we're about to hit one mil. And I kind of don't want to hide any like secrets or anything from you guys, you know, especially moving forward. I kind of just want to be really transparent about everything. Um, about me in 2016. I wonder if I have any clips of me saying something like that in 2016 when I came out. I'm gonna look for one. If I find one, I'm gonna put it in here. So I feel like I need to be 100% with you guys as what like what goes on in my life or who I who I am and I'm not being 100% with you guys. This is something that I should be doing. I feel like I need to be doing this and I just haven't been, so. Basically, I'm, I'm coming out as a, as a closet furry. Yes, I've secretly been a furry this whole time. Ha, oh, that's funny as fuck. Sorry, I didn't realize that was like supposed to be funny as <laughs> that's so fucking funny, dude. Like, um, I kind of was just doing it to kind of grow the furry community and kind of just give everybody a laugh and all like that. But come to think of it, I don't think I can live in hiding the whole time, you know, and that's just kind of what I wanted to get off my chest. I'm sorry, people find this funny, man. People find that like people knee slap at this. Sorry to disappoint if I disappoint anybody. Hopefully you can still support me. And then also, I just wanted to let you know that it's fucking April Fools. You think I'm a furry? Are you stupid? Are you stupid to think that I'm really a furry? Is any furry this ripped up, my boy? From head to toe? Come on, son. Stop playing me, my boy. Dripped out in the generic sweatpants, dude. I wear generic sweatpants. Let's give it to him. In all honesty, that shit was hilarious. Coming out videos and coming out in general is just a fucking knee slapper. Nothing gets funnier than that. So this is the last clip that I have for today. It's called Improper Pronouns Are Not Discrimination. Call me they them and just call me they them with the same effort you call a woman she her and a man he him. This isn't something you get to yes about. Because if you don't call me by my preferred pronouns, then it's just discrimination. Look, you can't just cry discrimination for hurt feelings regarding pronouns that clearly don't adhere to proper English within a proper context that go there besides. I'm going to stop this for one second. So using they, them is proper English. We've literally used it for hundreds of years, and I don't want to hear the stupid argument ever again. Using they, them in a context every day, it, it, it does work. When you're referring to one person, it does work. If you don't know their gender, whatever, if you're like, uh, oh, that's theirs, it's you can use it as a singular. It's been used like that forever. What you're talking about is not discrimination it's privilege you want humanity to go out of its way to label you something that you're not just because you say so i'm sorry honey child i am sorry there will be no bending of the knee from me when it comes to your emotional damage i just don't understand why people get so worked up over people telling their pronouns and saying call me they them or call me he his if you don't want to do that then you don't have to interact with that random person on the internet and if that's your family member and you don't want to do that for your family member then you don't have to you really don't have to but that just shows them who you are as a person so i don't understand what whining about it is going to do like if you simply don't want to refer to someone a specific way then you you don't have to that is the power of freedom right but then you're going to go and bitch online about it like you're a big baby who truly gives a fuck. And there actually is a point where misgendering someone does become discrimination, like if it's in the workplace and it's on a consistent basis. And for example, let's say it's me and they're saying uh, she and hers and woman, then it would be discrimination because you're, you're consistently harassing this person and you're misgendering them on purpose out of ignorance, right? That's where it actually becomes a problem. But if you are just, you don't understand or whatever and you're, you're saying he or she, it's not really, it's not discrimination at all. That's your mistake. But if you're going out of your 
your way to harass somebody, that's when it becomes a problem. Anyways, in other news, this brings us to the end of the video, but I wanted to share this last post with you. So somebody sent me an email and they said, Tucker Carlson has his pronouns in his bio. And I was like, that's crazy. He probably doesn't. That's a joke. So I went on his Twitter. Emmy award-winning broadcast journalist, graduate of Harvard College and Yale School, frequent visitor to the Aspen Institution. Anyways, he's fully faxed, they slash theirs, with a Ukraine flag. Yeah, this guy's the ultimate troll. So fucking funny. Tucker Carlson is so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, so that brings us to the painful ending of today's video. So I hope you all really enjoyed that. Let me know if you did, and if you didn't, please let me know as well. Seriously, it won't hurt my feelings. And yeah, if you like this format, uh, I will do it again. If you do not, then I will not do it again. So I will see all of you guys next week with a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.